create different segments. Let me explain. When you have a business, you can have create multiple lead magnets. Usually, when you create multiple lead magnets, you may or may not have multiple lists, depending on the specific interest that you decide you want to tailor the specific pain point or the specific desire. You may have three different email lists, or you may have it all in one, but offer three different types of lead magnets. Listen, I'm going to talk about that later on in a different video, but the deal is I'm going to give you an example. When I started coaching, I was a financial coach. So one of the reasons why I became a financial coach, because I freed myself over $250,000 of debt. I increased my credit score. Those are three different things, right? So those are actually three different, and I did it through budgeting. So those are actually three different things that I can cre could have created lead magnets to. One, I could create something that's offering free consultation to people who don't want to go into the next quarter, the next month, the next year, the next whatever time a period it is with the debt and want to finally get a hold to um, get a hold of that debt and you know, wrap it up and put it in its place, okay? So they, they're they interested in this free consultation for different ways to do that. And so that would be, that would be a lead magnet. And that may have a list, right? And that, that particular list uh, uh, attached to it, my tripwire or whatever, my, my ultimate product, I may be offering one-on-one um, -on -one coaching. You copy that, then I may have, I mentioned, um, I, uh, to uh, buy into homes. So maybe my second lead magnet may be a checklist, a checklist helping people who want to buy homes. You have a lot of debt. You have a poor credit score, but you have this desire to own your own home, to own your own land because you're tired of rent. You're tired of your rent going up and up and up, and you're not reaping the benefits. There's no tax benefits for you, and it's time for you to get yours. So I may create this, this uh, ultimately buy, uh, buy your home, although you in debt, checklist or ebook, and then that would be an audience because it's specifically designed for a particular audience. And although although I'm offering financial coaches, I may have three different pillars that I focus on in my business. So I created a lead magnet for each pillar. The third one may be just credit. 25 tricks to getting your credit together when you broke. You know, ebook and the people who are interested in that, they may opt into that. Now, those are three examples. I'm not telling you to go out and do that. I'm not telling you that's the perfect lead magnet if you're a financial coach. What I am, I'm telling you that sometimes in your business, you'll have different segments of your audience, right? Uh, so that you can provide a specific need to, uh, tailored to a specific pain point and you want to design a lead magnet. And when you, when you create those lead magnets, you put those things out, whichever one is popping at the time, it'll help give you information on how to steer your business, steer your business, okay, whether you should put more focus on credit or more focus on families or more focus on house uh, people who want to d go to, to buy homes. It allows you to steer your business because it's, it's going to provide you with internal data to help you when you create your marketing budget or when you uh, go out to find potential leads to grow your business. So I gave a lot of bonuses there. I hope y'all caught what I threw away.